Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we're doing a modded series. Now if you want to know what mods I'm using, you can either check the first episode if you haven't already or you can check the description down below, they all should be listed there. Now in the last episode we've started getting power finally. Well, we've had power before, but it was beaver power. We started actually using water power which is actually pretty amazing <laughs> it's pretty amazing this says right it can do 180 horsepower per cubic meter squared we got it up to over 500 horsepower that's pretty amazing that's just one wheel so in this episode we're going to start one of our big projects we're going to start one of our big projects we're going to make a little well not little a big plank and gear production line with its own power and and own storage. So everything should be sort of self-contained in this one area. So I got a pretty cool comment um, about putting storage at the, in the middle level and putting these on top, which I think we're gonna take a look at. So we're gonna go through a few designs if we don't find the right one straight away. If we find the right one straight away, we'll just bang on with it, wouldn't we? So let's delete all of this and let's take a look so i do like the water bottles like this now if we look underneath i have put these levees and the reason why i put these levees because i want the water to come through here now i may make that longer i may actually you know what in essence of not having to delete everything once it's built i'm actually gonna put all levees here now so let's go to the top there we go. Let's get this bad boy and let's delete here, I believe. So let's delete all of that until we see nothing like that. And let's delete this one. I want to make sure I delete the right one. I don't want to have to keep making mistakes now, do we? Look like that. And that. All right. So how high were the levees? Two blocks. Okay, that's not too bad. This is going to... This is going to be a crazy amount of wood. <laughs> this is going to be a crazy amount of wood and planks. But luckily, in well, when we're not in droughts, we'll be making a decent amount. I've got absolutely none, so <laughs> that's a good start. But, 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 but the reason why we've got none is because we're making a dam over here. Because my other dam was useless. <laughs> my other dam was useless. Now, we've got this pathway of water going, which... I'm pretty happy about. We may have to adjust that as we see the water flow. Now, let's take a look at storage. Now, we're going to definitely have the biggest storage that we possibly can. How much research have I got? Okay, I've got a fair amount. So, I don't think I need to unlock anything as of yet to complete this build. Maybe we could put some engines there at some point when we start getting into metal production. Maybe some design, uh, some of these, uh, what are they, decorations? But right now, we can get the base build up and running because we've got all the stuff. All right, so we need to have storage. Storage is important. Do I bring this forward a bit? I think I do. I think I bring it forward like that. Now, would that affect the flow? because it's going up here. I don't think it would. I don't think it would. But who am I to know? All right, so we do something like that. Like that. And then we can delete. It's so hard to plan when it's grayed out like this. Maybe we need to zoom in like this. That's a little bit better. All right, so if we do that, now we can take a look at how much storage we can get in. Now I want to have a lot because I want to make sure that we just constantly build up uh, materials. Hmm. I'm going to need one more. That's fine though. That's fine. We just need to delete this stuff and bung this right here. So now that lets us transfer power through. So we could actually 
either do something like this, where we put this on top in the middle here. But that will only give us an option of four. It will keep us in line with the height of this, which is pretty nice. Or we could delete this. We could put some platforms there. Let's get all the way to the top. Yeah, there we go. And we could put it like this. I think this one would give us more production. Well, it definitely would give us more factories to produce from. Now, will we have enough power? So each one of these lumber mills take 50 horsepower. If I can get each one of these wheels to hit 500, that's nearly 2,000 horsepower there. All of this, this lumber mill cost will be, let's see how many we can get. Look at that, that fits so perfectly. So what's that, seven. So what is seven times five, 35 times 10, 350. Quick maths, there you go. So that's 350 horsepower. If we can get one of these to do 500, one of these can power that with change. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, so we've got like the base design there, right? Um, let's get some of this in here. And let's get this going around here. Because now we've got to think about how we want to top this off. And then we'll start on the other side with the gears. So let's get this pathing done. Now, do I do the pathing on the outside? I think I do, you know, because we can put some decorations then on the inside. So if we do something like that. Oh, there's a... Mm, okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Hmm. If only that was one more out. But if that's one more out, then that would need to be one more out. Oh, I like symmetry. I really like symmetry. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll just have to leave it like that. Okay, so with this, we want to put some decorations there, but I want to use these bad boys as well. So that fits absolutely perfectly. So if I do something like this, no, not that, like that, like that. And let's see how it goes on there. That's way too high. Okay, my bad. Let's get that one lower. It's all about testing and seeing what we've got. So that is a, actually a DLC item, not a DLC. What am I talking about? That is a mod item. And that lets us put like benches in that underneath platforms, which is pretty damn cool. So if I was to say, unlock benches and plants and beaver statues, we could act. Why? <laughs> Why? I think that's too tall actually. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So I think the beaver statue is too tall. We need to make it a little bit taller. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I like this. So we could do something there. We'll figure that out as we go along. But the problem now is. The problem now is that this won't fit on this one, would it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe we can't do something like that. Let me try. If I was to do. So this. 
No, not that. Oh, let's try this. Put this up here. Put this here. It equals the exact same thing I was just doing. <laughs> it equals the exact same thing. Okay, let me take a look and see if I can get something done. Okay, so I have this design here, which is pretty cool. So we've used one big one and two small ones. Now, this is actually quite perfect. And I would actually make this a bit longer to get the stairs going nicely. But the only problem is that this takes six metal blocks <laughs> and I don't have metal at the moment. I know there's a lot of scrap metal around, but part of the challenge is not getting the scrap metal and dealing with it over here in this little puzzle. So we would have to deal with that at some point because I need I need metal. <laughs> I need metal. Why are these not getting built? That is getting built. Never mind. Ignore me. And that's slowly getting built. How much power is this doing? Oh, that's so beautiful. 528. And we've got beavers in here doing their business. Good. What I like to see. Okay, so let's get back to this. So this is going to be the actual design. Let's actually add some more of this. Like so. And we can add levies there if we need to. And just put that like that. So this is going to be the design, but it's not going to be the design until we get the metal planks, the metal bars. So I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember this. I'm going to take a mental image and I'm going to keep it in my head. But for now, we're going to delete that and we're going to just put normal platforms here. Get them across like so. Delete the single platforms. In fact, I should keep it there because that might help me remember. Because I guarantee you, I'll mostly forget. <laughs> I will mostly forget, but I'm going to try my best to remember. If we get metal blocks and I haven't said I'm going to do it, remind me guys, remind me. Leave a comment, shout at me, tell me. You need to get this done. All right. So it's going to look a bit like that. Now, the reason why I don't mind this coming out of it because we can actually maybe do something here. But we will check that out in a sec. Let's get on to making the gear production. So the gear production is going to be pretty much similar. In essence, it's going to be on that side with storage and gear workshops at the top. One thing I do want to do is I want to actually add the storage or sort out the storage now, which is a lovely update. So none allowed, none desired. The, the last one's going to be the desired one, and that's going to be planks. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five thousand planks if we're not actually using them. We're going to be able to store five thousand planks. That's crazy. All right. So now that is all set. All the storage is set to the number I need it to be. We can now take a look at the other side. So how many is this? Sorry, I had to swallow something. I had to sign it in my throat. <laughs> All right, so this is six blocks long. So that means this will come out to about here. Hmm. Hmm. This gets in the way. I'm going to have to move everything over by one. <laughs> oh, my sanity is fleeting. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So if I move everything over by one, then that will be here. And that will be ending here. So that would be okay. Because then we could use this area to sort of get onto this. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. There's no point pondering it. I might as well just get started with it. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so <laughs> I've done it. I've done the torture. Moved it all one to the right, I believe. Now we should have equal sides. Let's see. So it should be five after the levy. There we go. Lovely. Now we can start designing this. The fun part. We can actually do the fun part. We can actually play the game now. All right, so let's do this, I believe. I think. Yeah, that's how big the storage is. Okay, so let's get storage down. That's the important stuff. Go like that. And now storage is down. We're going to do pretty much the same design, I believe. And then we've got to make it look pretty. So we're going to do gears on this side. Now, how many, how much horsepower? Is this actually going to take? That is the question. So that took 120. Wow. And there's seven there. Okay, my quick mass is not going to work as fast. But I believe it is 840, maybe? 840, okay. That, that's actually not too bad. It should just take two wheels. So we'll still have an extra wheel of power just in case we don't produce as much as we're producing over at the other side. So that's not too bad, actually. Let's actually get this storage done. So allowed none, desired none, because it's going to be at the end here. Actually, I did that one, so I'm going to do this one. Just little uh, OCD things. <laughs> uh, let's put a thousand. That's for how much we want in there. And then the others, it's just none, none, and allowed. All right, so now that is done, we can start planning. So we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side with um, the mod uh, arches but since we don't have metal just yet we are not going to do that right now let's put that like that let's get what is it it's, it's a little one isn't it you know what? i'm just going to do that we're going to figure it out once we get the metal going and how does that side look Okay, so it's kind of... Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> I just noticed the problem. Because they're mirrored, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be opposite. Which is fine. It just means I need to add another layer here. So that's not, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get this all built up. Okay, so with that all done, it's looking pretty decent now this is a whole production line for planks and gears that's gonna be crazy we're gonna be making so many i cannot wait so now we've got to make it pretty now we've got to do all the pretty stuff now they can actually enter through here or up here not sure yet but they can enter on this side which is okay i don't mind that that doesn't look good but that can go like, in fact, we're going to make that go up like this. And then we're going to delete this bit. But it just looks too different. Mm, it looks too different. That could work. At least they're like three by three squares, or no, three by two squares, or rectangles. Because then we've got enough research. We can get some of this stuff going. 250 research for a fence. That's a lot. We can get some safety going there, which we like safety, don't we guys? We love a bit of safety. We can get, I'm thinking I either put pathing along here and in order to do that, we need to put, I think one of these. Oh, that doesn't even fit. No, I remember you need bridges to get over these, don't you? Which 
could be a thing. Let's see. So if we do something like that. Stairs there. And then one over here. And stairs like so. I think I'm gonna need bridge with uh, bridges that use metal, unfortunately. Maybe the three by three. So how does that work? Is it is the two three squares? Yeah. So it'd be one, two, three, one, two. Ooh. I think the three by three can work. Oh, and we've got enough science. Oh look oh that is so satisfying. That is actually so satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. Let me come over here. Come over here. What do we put in the middle? We could put a monument. I haven't got any of them unlocked yet. Maybe I'll try and unlock it at some point in this episode. Okay. Okay. Oh, why is there a fence there? What else do we need to put? We need to put... We need to make a little design here. Now I'm going to need to unlock a monument. And I'm thinking the Labourers Monument. Because this is like a Labour district. Right? And a Labourers Monument is 4x4, four four, I believe. If it's 4x4, four four, we can actually pull it in here. I can't remember if remember how big it is so what I'm gonna do we're gonna leave that little bit till last actually we're gonna let them start building all that I want to get the science to unlock this monument and we're gonna check the size of it and then we'll see what we can do with that bit so you know what that means guys I am gonna let this run and we are gonna see what it's like in the finished product so guys I will see you lot in a sec and just like that it is all done look at this bad boy now there's a problem <laughs> there is a problem these only they got up to about 800 if i'm correct yeah they, they they stop around 800 um they fluctuate between 800 and 700 i believe and if we put all of these on we're looking at 1190 so there's a bit of a flow issue we've got going on. Um, I'm actually going to turn this off because I don't need these materials just yet and I don't have the beavers. Also, yeah, that should be fine. I have put the job priority low, so they shouldn't be going over there anyway. I've done a bit of a change down here. I've made water flow through here so it can be a little bit faster. But I want to be hitting these kind of numbers and I think I can only do that with a single row. So, I don't know, we may have to either add a few more on, or we may have to do a single row, which I don't want to do because I like the symmet uh, symmetricalness of it. But before all of that, let's make it a little bit more prettier. So I'm thinking, I've unlocked the statues now. I've actually got quite a lot of research. I've actually unlocked quite a few things actually. Um, if we go down here, we've got this bad boy. Now let's pause it so they don't build it. We can put that like that, but I feel like I want it to be a bit more like, wow, like massive. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to play with levels here. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So let's get some platforms down. Now, if we raise the level like so, we could do something like that. Bring Parfin in. And we could even raise the level again, I would say. Something like that. Hmm. It's not too bad. Then we could get this bad boy here. 
and we could even put flames of progress because I've, I've actually unlocked them. It's gonna cost a hell of a lot of materials, but it's something we could do. And you know what? That doesn't look too bad. We can get um. What else do we need? Some pathing up here, I suppose. And we can put some bushes down here. And some beaver statues. You know what? That doesn't look too bad. And we need to kick up this. We need to bring this up a bit. Now, I don't know how to make this flow go faster. Like I said, I think maybe we need to do it singly, but I don't want to do that. So the other option is I've either put more power, more power wheels or water wheels of the large one, or maybe get some small ones down at the front. Now I wonder how that would go. So say we did something like this bad, this thing, if we do Something like that. And then we can make the power line go in there somewhere. Now that will allow water to pass through, it should do. Shouldn't back it up too much. We need to bring this down so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Like so. And we can actually just put this right here. And get that like that, that like that. You know what? That's not too bad, is it? I want to get rid of this debris. I need to get down there, though. How are we going to get down there? I think I've got a stairs somewhere. No? Okay, never mind. So I'm going to start letting them build actually. Let's, I'm actually liking this design. I wonder if we can put a fence in front of it, just to make it look like it's contained. So if we go to this one here, can this be built? Like that. And then we'll get a levee down here and carry on the fence. And that just sort of gives it like an off limits sort of thing. Let's also delete all these trees because I want to get down here. That means we need some stairs and pathway when it gets done. And hopefully that kicks up power production enough, hopefully. And once we start getting metal, I actually do want to make, we, you know what, we're going to put it down now, actually. I do want to make a little engine, like a backup engine. They can go down here, they can go under there, right? They can. So if we do something like this and we get power, let's unlock that. Uh, why do you not go in the middle? Why? Why are you going to do this to me? Okay, let's try a different way. Maybe we'll add like that. And then we can put two. Much better, much, much better. So then we need pathing down there. Again, let's lower the level so we can see what we're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll do something like that. And like that. 
that's good. Now we've got to think about how we're going to get the power somewhere over here. Hmm. I may have messed up. <laughs> I'm sure we can figure something out. Let me uh, take a look at this. Okay, so I just bunged it into here, really. I couldn't think of, I couldn't get round and doing it in, to, round to doing it in a nice way. I couldn't talk then. So that was the best way I could think of. I could have mostly done it under here and went in here, but that would mean <laughs> I would del need to delete all these platforms because I would need the single platforms, which I should have done before, but I didn't. I always made that mistake. Maybe in the future, when we've got a lot of resources, I can change it. If you guys got any ideas, you know, let me know in the comments below. You know I'm going to try it. So, we have extra power. We have monuments, we have buildings, and we have our water power getting made. I think it's time to get this finally completed. I'll see you guys in a sec. And there you have it. This glorious piece of machine work. Now, there's a few things. I forgot these beaver statues for the iron teeth need metal. <laughs> so we don't have metal. So they're going to stay there as a placeholder because I do want them there in the future. And I'm not going to complete this yet because, again, these need metal. So they'll slowly complete that. But for this episode, I'm happy that we got this done. It's run, it still runs about 800. So I did see it got to a thousand at one point. So we may have to just leave it like this and compensate with engines at a later date. But we'll see how it goes. I've raised this a bit so we get more water because I had this at level one and the water disappeared in our drought quite quickly. What is it on now? So you see, it's going up, it's going to hit about a thousand. Ooh, 1,100, that might be exactly how much we need. But it goes up and down. So maybe we'll play about with that. Maybe you guys know a better way to arrange this so it produces more power. Let's see, we'll figure it out. But unfortunately, that is all I have time for today. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.